Welcome back, this is Sandy with Sandy's Organized Chaos, and today I will be showing you a super quick, a super easy way to apply kids art to tumblers. We're going to be making Mother's Day cups, okay? I'm going to help? Well, all of you are going to help, but I need, so we need to pick out some colors. What are you thinking? I was thinking it has to be a white. We're gonna do a white in the middle and then I'm gonna come down and do a color. So what color? Um, maybe a pink. Pink? Okay, so or... I'm asking everybody. We're gonna be doing Mother's Day tumblers for both grandmas, okay? And I need you to help me choose a glitter. What color do you think grandmas would like? This color. What color? This color. Sadie chose that same exact color. That's funny. <laughs> I like this color. I, Molly chose silver. Delilah so chose mm. rose gold. The dots are cool. Be careful with my glitter. Be careful with Mama's mm. glitter. This is Christmas glitter. <laughs> the jury has spoken, so I'll be doing gold, rose gold, and white. The color that I want on my tumblers today. I'll also be using two hog 20 ounce skinny plus tumblers. Use whatever tumblers you have on hand for your project. I'm going to prep my tumbler and paint it white. And then I'm going to put my epoxy on because I use the epoxy method to apply my glitter. I just feel it makes the glitter lay much flatter and looks prettier in the end. If you use the epoxy method like I am doing, make sure that you rub that in really well so that way there's no spots left without epoxy or that glitter won't have anything to stick to. You can either have the customer send you artwork directly, or you can have your own children do artwork and put it on the cup as well. This is great for Mother's Day, birthdays, Christmas. It's just an extra little touch for somebody special. I recommend using a white base so that way the art shows up better in the end. Here I'm just going to apply my white glitter on the middle now, whatever way you choose to do it, you can do it, but this is just how I'm doing these particular tumblers. After I'm done loading up the middle portion of my tumbler, I'm going to move on to my fine gold, and I'm going to just, just ever so slightly fade that into the white around the top and the bottom. I'm going to move on to the chunky rose gold, now I want to make sure that I have my tumbler tipped at a 45 degree angle at whichever direction I'm going for. I start at the bottom and I make sure that I hit the bottom really well. And then I just fade it into the gold so that way there's no harsh lines. It just leaves a nice ombre. I'm going to move on to the top and I'm going to turn that tumbler at a 45 degree angle. And I'm gonna go along the rim first and then I'm gonna fade it down into the gold again on this side. Now I'm just going to hit up some areas here and there, just making sure that my ombre looks nice. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to put it on my turner for about three hours. Then I give a nice dose of clear coat and I add another coat of epoxy. You want to make sure that you let that second coat of epoxy dry for at least 24 hours before you apply any type of decals. Here I'm just going to hit it up one more time with that white and kind of fade it down into my gold just a little, just to make it even more of a prettier ombre. Now because I have two that I have to do, I'm just going to do up that second one really quick and then we will be ready to add the personalization. Now here I'm just showing you how my kids drew pictures on a paper and then I scanned it into my computer this way. But if you get it through an email, it's just simply you download it and upload it to whatever device you use to make your designs. You have that scanned you want to save it somewhere where it's easy to find once you get into whatever design space you use i use cricut so that's what i'm going to show you here Cricut. i'm going to choose upload upload image i'm going to choose browse and i'm going to find where i placed that document i put it on desktop 
skin image, open it up. I'm going to choose complex because I want to keep that image vivid. And then I'm going to weed out the white space around the picture. Then I'm going to save it and I'm going to make sure that it's the size I would like it to be. So this is going on a smaller space. I just made sure that the proportions were correct before I printed it out. I'm going to double up that image and then I'm going to use a clear water slide transfer paper. Somebody sent you baby's feet or a hand print that you wanted the exact size. Just make sure you get those measurements from your customer so that way they can be the exact proportions. This is the transparent water slide decal paper I like to use. I purchased that on Amazon. I'm just going to get that printed out and we will be ready to move on to the next step. I also typed up a quote that I like that I found online and I'm going to get that cut out and we'll get that put on the tumbler as well. Now, as many of you may know, weeding really fine lined font is kind of difficult to do, but I didn't want anything too thick for the tumbler, so I'm glad that I chose this. And here they are all done up, all that hard work. I really like how that turned out. Take my transfer tape and I'm gonna put the vinyl decals on first. Now when I deal with any type of water slides, I like to always put any type of vinyl decals first and then the water slide. It makes it that much easier to make sure everything's lined up properly in the back. The vinyl decals are applied and we are ready to move outside to spray down our water slide paper. If you can't go outside, just make sure you're somewhere well ventilated. I just use a semi-gloss or a gloss. I'm gonna go back and forth, up and down. Make sure you're about 12 inches away. You don't wanna to be too close. You don't want it to puddle up. And then I'm gonna bend down and make sure that those images are covered in that gloss. Once those are dry, I just come in and I use a pair of scissors and I just cut as close as I can around the image. Because this is a transparent paper, you can do that. If you use white water slide, you have to make sure that you use your machine to cut your image out or just have really good hands at cutting around images. That they are cut, it's as simple as taking a bowl of water letting your images soak in that bowl of water and applying it to your tumbler. After you apply it to your tumbler, you just want to make sure that you smooth those out really well to get any water out underneath. Make sure you give it another coat of clear coat and apply a couple more coats of epoxy and they are all done. Whether you get these images from your customer or it's your own personal images, whether this is for a Mother's Day gift or birthday or Christmas gift, I hope I've showed you how easy it can be to add that special artwork to any Tumblr project you are doing. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any more tutorials I have coming your way. And I will see you guys next time.